this time of year, you know, is kind of a rampant thing with people. They, uh, they decide, you know, I'm just going to go to the store real quick. I don't need to, I don't need to clean all the snow off my car. I mean, surely it'll be fine. It's, it's just a minute or so down the road. And, uh, you know, according to, uh, most insurance companies, if not all of them, in fact, they'll tell you that, uh, most accidents actually happen within five miles from the home. So, you know, there really isn't any excuse, folks. And I know it's an inconvenience, but it just takes a minute. You just, you just clean off your windshield, clean off your mirrors, go around the back, you know, scrape off the ice, scrape off the snow, get you one of those little nifty plastic scrapers, you know, that don't damage your windows and things like that. It doesn't take long and it's not hard. Maybe this is one of those, uh, I don't know, public service announcements. Yes. Yes, it is. Not only is it a serious safety risk when you can't see out your car and you're driving, um, it's also illegal. Yeah, most states, uh, probably all of them, require, you know, <laughs> if you have any debris or anything impeding your view, uh, you need to remove it, you know. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a matter of vanity. It's not a matter of, you know, convenience. It's a matter of, you could die. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this is kind of important, folks. And uh, I don't know. It's just one of those things, I guess, it, it, it drives me nuts. And, uh, I, you know, in the middle of the season, you're kind of like, well, it, it'll be fine. I've been doing it every day i'll just slack for now and you know, just got to get to the you know down down to the store you know it's just just driving a couple doors down to my neighbor's house even I, no no clean off your car every time i'm telling you it's really not worth the what if you know what i'm saying and even if it wasn't you know legally required that you have to do this sort of thing. It's, um, you know, consider it your own personal safety is involved here and the safety of others. I mean, you plow to somebody else because you can't see them. I mean, whose fault is that? The cops are going to look at your, your snow covered car. And they're going to say, Hmm, I wonder who was at fault here. You know what I mean? This is a, uh, it's really a gorgeous season. And it's a lovely time of year and you should be able to go out and enjoy it. But at the same time, go out and enjoy it, you know, with, with a little bit of caution, <laughs> you know, uh, and, and consider others, you know, and their safety as well. So I don't know. That's just kind of a little thing I wanted to talk about today. And I, I see it around town it, it drives me nuts. You know, these folks that uh maybe they're in more of a hurry or or whatever and it's just it just takes a minute i mean it's, it's it doesn't take long at all you know even if even if you don't have a fancy scraper you you can clear some snow off with cardboard you can you can clear ice off with you know any I guess stiff piece of plastic that won't damage your window. I've, I've cleaned off my car with a, uh, a hair comb before. I mean, you just, just scrape off the ice and go about your day. <laughs> you know, that's all you got to do. So anyway, I hope, uh, I hope I've saved somebody's life here today. This is, uh, not a video I normally do. I don't usually do, uh, uh, you know, public safety videos, but honestly, guys, you know, there, there's some laws are frivolous. The, the, the ones about clearing your car are not frivolous. This is, this is common sense. So get it done. Anyway, that's what I got. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think in a comment section below. And, um, 
And yeah, it looks like Google has come through with lots of photos again. So there's that. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. I'm out.